This is Stuart Lawans, film critic for The Nation, by which I mean the entire nation, uh, beaming into you cybernetically to talk about a couple of the more exciting films that are in movie theaters right now. Uh, Gomorra by Matteo Garone and The Class by Laurent Conté. Now, one of these films has been nominated for an Oscar as Best Foreign Language Picture. The other has not been so nominated. To me, this just shows what the Oscars are worth. These are both terrific films, and I hope everybody goes to see them. We'll start with Gomorra. It's based on a book of the same title by Roberto Saviano, a young Italian journalist who has done such a good job of exposing the workings of today's Camorra, the Neapolitan mob, that he's been living under police protection since 2006. Uh, what you get from Saviano's book is a picture of how today's Camorra is organized, how it's structured, how it works, and especially how it has, has managed to interconnect with today's globalized economy. That's the most important part. Uh, what the film gives you in the manner of good movies is not so much exposition as sensation. You get a horrific vision of what the world looks like when it's been completely remade by gangsters. The film proceeds along five different narrative tracks at the same time, five plots. Everything that happens in this film is, is unified, not as, a, not as a drama, but as a, a steadily escalating pulse of violence. There's a gang war going on, and it's this rhythm of, of endless killing that really brings all these stories together. Uh, that and Garoni's vision of this world. The, the countryside is now just a dumping ground for toxic sludge. The main setting, the city, is a huge housing project that looks like a concrete ziggurat and that is falling apart and reverting to the condition of a cave. You see young men dressed only in their briefs and sneakers wandering about a deserted estuary test firing automatic weapons and rocket propelled grenades. There are kids not able to see over the steering wheels who are driving trucks full of toxic sludge around an empty quarry. All of this going on in this, in this horrific vision. Gomorrah is endlessly violent, endlessly compelling. It's as harsh and unromanticized a gang movie as I've ever seen, and I hope everybody's going to go to see it. The other film I want to talk about has been nominated for an Oscar. It's Laurent Conté's The Class. Um, you shouldn't let the Oscar nomination get in your way of liking the movie, though. This is also really daring filmmaking even though the only violence in it happens to come from an accidentally cut eyebrow. Except for one very brief introductory scene, the class is shot entirely within an actual public middle school in Paris. The students you see in the film, 13 and 14 year olds, are playing fictional characters, but they are all actual middle school kids in Paris who are improvising to characters made up by the filmmakers. The man who's playing the teacher, Francois Bigodeau, has actually been a public school teacher in Paris, and the film is based on his memoirs of his experiences within one of these classrooms. It's the story of a teacher who is trying to teach French composition and grammar to 24 kids who don't necessarily want to learn it because their families come from Mali and the Caribbean, and China. And they really are not so keen on learning standard French or the values that come with standard French. When the teacher uh, makes up an, an example of a sentence, Bill ate a succulent cheeseburger. The students immediately challenge him, wanting to know why he always chooses weird names like Bill instead of normal names like Aisha. There is always this pushing back and forth, which Francois, the teacher, encourages. He's not one of these warm and loving uh, Mr. Chips characters or, or the Robin Williams character from American movies. He's French and he doesn't mind sharp distinctions. His method is to push on the kids. They push back. And Conte films all of this within the classroom as a kind of tennis match in which you have one player on one side of the net and 24 players on the other side of the net and the camera somehow doesn't get in the way of the ball. What's astonishing is that eventually a plot emerges from all this back and forth. It's an ethically complex, emotionally troubling plot. And what's amazing is that you realize when it comes together that Conte took the insane risk of waiting about an hour of screen time to bring it together. 
So again, this is amazingly complex, daring filmmaking uh, by Laurent Conte, The Class, which I hope everybody's going to go to see. So until the next time, this is Stuart Plowans for The Nation.